Hey everyone, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to import Maya Actor Core motions into the Maya environment with the Actor Core dummy character. The workflow here is quite simple as you can see. We're going to start off by loading the Actor Core Maya template to define the human IK skeleton, then import an Actor Core motion. We're then going to bake the motion so it's successfully retargeted to our character. We'll follow this with a brief example showing how to do this with a custom character as well. Okay, let's start off by importing in our Actor Core dummy character. We want to make sure that we've opened the rigging tab in Maya first, as that's the first thing we're going to do with our newly imported character. We want to make sure that the file type is FBX and select Add in File Content. From there, we'll select Create Character Definition and load in the skeleton definition for Maya provided with ActorCore. This will essentially auto rig our character. Next, we're going to take a look at importing animation with the Time Editor, which you can find under the Windows File menu, and then going to Animation Editors, and finally Time Editors. From there, we can simply click and drag the motion we want from our Explorer window directly into the Time Editor to apply it to our Actor Core character. We can move the motion clip to frame 0 and play back to see our dummy get funky. What we're going to do next is apply a second animation and adjust the order of the animations. We're back in the time editor now, and we're going to repeat the import process by clicking and dragging another FBX motion file in. You'll see that it will automatically be placed on the second track. Let's extend our playback length to accommodate the second clip, and then go back into our main view and drag our playhead to get a look at how the two motions look one after the other. Next, we're going to import in our custom Blue Man character by going up to Import from the File menu. We want to make sure that under the Include section we have Add selected for file content, and then go ahead and import. To focus on this character, we'll select our Motion Dummy Mesh and Rig and make them both inactive for now. We need to retarget the rig of our Blue Man so he can accept our animation first, so let's make sure he's selected, and then go over to Select None for our character, and then Create Character Definition. From here we need to ensure that each bone in our character definition matches up with the bone on Blue Man. This process can take a while, but it's important to note that for the spine and neck, you'll always want to retarget to the lowest bone on the character definition template. This process may take a few minutes of essentially just retargeting bone after bone. Once you've got everything done correctly, the bones on your character's body and hand should all be green. What we can do now is apply those previous motions to our Blue Man character. To do that, all I need to do is make sure our character is selected, and then go over and choose Character 1 as our source, which was our dummy character. He'll pop into the pose ready to dance, so we can change his shader mode back to see his true colors, and then play back. Pretty cool stuff. What we'll want to do next is bake the motion to our character skeleton. To do this, we can simply go over to Bake, and then Bake to Skeleton. That will take a few seconds, but once it's done, you can see now that our Blue Man character has the dance motion baked to his skeleton. And that's all there is to it, folks. Hopefully you learned a lot about how easy it is to bring in your actor core motions into Maya and bake them to custom characters. Make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, as well as our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this one. I hope to see you in the next video.